Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering an email I received from a viewer, and I will do my best to answer the email on the spot. So here we go. His name is Jimmy, and the subject is Book Course Recommendations for Applied Mathematics. Okay, and I have not read this email. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> Hello, I really enjoy your videos. I find the book recommendations helpful. I was wondering if you could do a book start to finish recommendation for applied mathematics. Also, my major has intro to analysis one and two, numerical methods, everything up to ODE, PDE, modeling and probability. So lots of applied math there. However, it is required to have 12 extra credits and I don't know what to choose. They all look great. What would you recommend that can complement economics and physics? More analysis, topology, abstract algebra, anything come to mind that is beyond the standard courses? Oh, sorcerer, please bestow wisdom upon a foolish mortal. Okay, fun question and a really, really hard one. I'm gonna have to take a sip of water. Hmm. Okay, so first let me say, uh, since you're doing applied math, there is a book, and it's giving me goosebumps even thinking about it. There's a book that is super super awesome and the book is called advanced engineering mathematics and it's by kreisig and it's an amazing book kreisig is just amazing just he has a gift for writing he also he has a really good functional analysis book too which is also worth picking up so i would recommend getting advanced engineering mathematics by kreisig and so what this book has is it has like a survey of mathematics and it's got all kinds of like really interesting topics and it's really like it's really compartmentalized in a really nice way. It's like these tiny little sections and it's just super clear. I mean, it even reviews trig functions. It just has so much basic math and so much advanced math and it's just so many different fields of mathematics come into this one book. So I think it's a great book uh, for anyone who is into math. Uh, I had uh, a student once uh, who used to come to my office all the time. He was also a really big, he's a physics major. So if you're watching this, hello. Uh, <laughs> He was also a big fan of that book, and it's it's just a good book, right? It's a good book. It's something that you will get a, a lot from. Okay, you'll get a lot from that book, I think, if you buy it. As far as what other classes to take, <laughs> it's a fun question. Um, so it says in your email, you're doing analysis one, analysis two. That's good. Numerical methods, that's cool. That's a class I never took. Uh, ODE, PDE, modeling and probability, good. Um, I noticed you didn't mention any complex analysis. I think that would be worth taking just so that you know what that's about. Also, even though you're doing applied math, I do think it's good to see other types of math. It will just give you more breath and it will give you a different perspective. So maybe, yeah, take a course on abstract algebra. Just take one. Um, I noticed you didn't mention linear algebra. So maybe take linear algebra. Uh, yes to topology. Yeah, so I would say try to vary uh, what you're learning because you might find something in those classes that you didn't know existed and that you really appreciate. And sure, there might not be like any heavy usage of let's say abstract algebra and what you're gonna be doing. I mean, I'm sure there is some and there is some in physics, but maybe it's not like super heavy. Maybe there's a better class you can take. I still think it's better to actually take an actual class on abstract algebra, take an actual class on topology, definitely take some, some complex analysis. I think the complex analysis would be a good complement to what you're doing and the topology and the abstract algebra would definitely give you uh, just a different perspective but definitely definitely take those classes uh, I feel like and this is just my opinion I feel like anyone who gets a math degree anyone should do some analysis um, some topology and some algebra I mean I feel like those are the those are like the core subjects and you know if you ever go to grad school for math uh, first year grad student usually usually takes three classes and usually it's like analysis, algebra, and, and topology. Usually it's something like that. Um, it looks like you have a lot of variety there with the modeling and probability and numerical methods. Again, those are classes that some people don't even take uh, when they're math majors. So yeah, definitely take some more of those core classes and pick up the Kreisig book. I think you'll really like it because you're going to find that you understand a lot of it. That's one of the fun things about that book. It's like you open it up and it's like, oh, oh, I get this. One of the big cons of the Kreisig book, by the way, is that it's so thick and it's so thick. It's such a thick book. Like, I, I wish I had it with me. It's somewhere on my bookshelf. Maybe it's in one of these. But it's such a thick book that it doesn't really, 
it doesn't really lay flat. So whenever I'm working or reading the Chrysler book, I have to like, if I'm doing a math problem from the book, sometimes I have to hold it down with something else because it'll close on itself. So that's one of the cons of the Chrysler book. But the fact it's so thick means it's got tons of mathematics. So yeah, get the Chrysler book. Definitely take topology, abstract algebra, and then maybe some complex analysis. That would be my recommendation. So yeah, if anyone else has recommendations, because my background is pure math. I've done some applied math, but I mostly did pure. Uh, so if anyone has any recommendations uh, for Jimmy, uh, please, please leave a comment below, especially if you're in physics or applied math, uh, you know, things that you think might help him. And this is, this is a recent email. I received this email 20 hours ago. So I'm just going through some emails. It's pretty fun. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. And anyone watching this, the Chrysler book is an awesome book. In fact, if I remember, I will try to leave a link in the description. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.